Welcome to part two of the special edition of Husky Athletic Presents. In part one of the Husky Holiday Home Cooking Challenge, we looked at which teams participated and what they made. In part two, we're going to look at the judging process to determine who is the winner of the Husky Holiday Home Cooking Challenge. The judging of the dessert was based on the appearance, creativity, and taste. The three judges we had were Sean, Adam, and Ashley. Okay, so here we have uh, uh, dessert number one, which uh, I believe is the poinsettia cupcake. <laughs> and uh, we'll give this a go here. Oops, we've got icing falling all over the place. I believe it's pronounced poinsettia. <laughs> poinsettia, yes. <laughs> no tea in the middle. <laughs> These look, uh, look quite rich. Um, nicely done on the decorating. High, point, high marks there. Oh, creamy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd eat the whole thing. In the anti sign pill, we'll start with the stump and make sure they've got a good muffin stump here. Oh. I'm gonna go with the more all inclusive approach. <laughs> and I'm gonna go for the icing and stump together. Careful, that's a rich that's a rich bite. <laughs> yep, there's some sugar in there too. That is um, outstanding. If we were rating the sugar content, this would be a five. <laughs> Pretty nice uh, icing action that they've done on the top there. So dessert number two. <laughs> dessert number dessert two. Dessert number two. Titled Star Cookie. It's a really nice setup they got going on. Oh, stars. Like I don't want to really know what those are. Oh, is that what they are? Oh, These yeah. are penguins brown. Oh, that's the closest they could come. Thinking that started off as a banana. That is creativity. It is a banana. That is creativity right there. It's definitely crunchy. Okay. Sprinkles are tasty. You know what that tasted like? The bottom of your popcorn bucket at the movies. Like yeah. the burnt stuff that they dumped in the bottom of it. So. Not not overly <laughs> impressed with the taste. No, not I'm overly. Not no, the taste was lie. um was um yeah it was harsh. Yeah. Creativity. Creativity though. outstanding. We are <laughs> this one we're judging on the yeah. Entirety, because <laughs> these cookies we ate were just pieces of the yeah. overall display overall here. Display. So, Creativity and appearance are huge. Yeah. Taste, though, I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to settle on that one. <laughs> it's uh, unfortunate, but mm -hmm. a little crunchy. I was just expecting the sugar cookie look of it to be a little softer, but nonetheless, still a good cookie. So up third, we've got the, uh, the cupcake. Look, this is chocolate. It looks good. Very nice appearance. I'm so proud. Yeah. I'd call it a Christmas rose, maybe. Christmas rose. There we go. Hey. And uh, got some candy cane crushed in there, some sprinkles. Uh, wrapper peels off nice. So once again, high scores for accessibility. That was very candy cane. Well, it's going to get messy, I think. And it's got some, obviously, the peppermint from the candy cane. That's a little different. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that one. It's very nice. So that's gonna have to go up there in my books right. taste wise. Yeah, taste wise, that's pretty good. That icing, the icing made the cupcake yeah, there. Yeah, the icing was good there. Plus, and I feel like I don't have to brush my teeth. The mint, crunchy, refresh. <laughs> okay, next up we have the macaroon. We're not sure, <laughs> like we said, which team has made this yet, but um, very, uh, very creative, very Christmassy. Obviously, the red and green. Mm -hmm. Yep. From what we can tell, very light, but also very. <laughs> <laughs> very messy. Very so messy I think really we're good, both yeah. going to attempt to do this in one bite yeah. to eliminate mess in here. So uh, <laughs> cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's crunchy. Mmm. Like cinnamony or something. Not bad. <laughs> Definitely lighter than the other Definitely ones. lighter than everything else we've had today. <laughs> it's got an interesting texture. And not burnt tasting like the star cookie. We're not trying to hide anything here. We're just throwing it out there as it's a macaroon. And that's what they did too. They were <laughs> not trying to hide anything. <laughs> no, they, they just went straight for the macaroon. Put it right out there. Okay, so finally we have the uh, cooker. Uh, I'm going to call these cookie cutter cookies. Yes, yeah, so this is, is Belle. 
Looks good. I like blue. It's a good start. Once again, not a ton of creativity because they're cookie cutter. So. However, they are decorated. Oh, my Christmas decorated, tree yeah. is decorated. They are, yeah, and they're very festive. So they've gone with the theme, the pink Christmas here, very Elvisy or so on and so forth. So uh, once again, though, uh, judging on appearance, creativity, and taste. So I think you're taking the bottom. So I'm gonna go from the bottom. Okay, I'll take the hook here, and we'll. It's kind of bland. I think it's good though. Just kind of creative. Nice little shape though, um. Solid sugar cookie. Great sugar cookie. Yeah, not Great over, not overly powering on the taste. I like how they didn't go overboard with the icing either. Yep. Yep. Nice limited amount of icing on there. Yep, not crazy at all. After deep discussions and in-depth comparisons, the winner of the first Husky Holiday Home Cooking Challenge is Michael Scott. Can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> Drum roll! <laughs> the poinsettia cupcake by the women's track and field team. Let's hear a few words from the winners. I found out I won because Kayla sent me a screenshot of it. And I sort of dropped the, f the phone on my face because I really was not <laughs> expecting it. It was late at night. I was really surprised too. There yeah. were some really good entries, lots of competition. I feel like I've been training my whole life for this, so I'd like to thank my mother. I'd also like to thank my parents. I'd like to thank you guys. <laughs> You're a big help. <laughs> I'd like to thank Ty for letting us know about this. Um, we'd like to thank our coach, Mark Burr. And of course, Husky <laughs> Athletics for putting on the event. Thanks for tuning in, Husky fans. We hope to see you next season. Merry Christmas, Husky, Husky Athletics. Athletics. My New Year's resolution is to uh, study harder. Stop making so many cookies. Start making so many cookies. <laughs> Stop eating so many cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Just as you're eating. Just new year. Start to do that thing. Maybe probably work harder in school. I procrastinate as the uh, term goes on. So maybe buckle down there. My New Year's resolution would be the same as uh, Brooks on the hockey team there. To pick it up in school and buckle down. Uh, you know, it's probably a good idea to push for the highest grades possible. <laughs>